Hey everybody, Andrew here with Aquaponic Liquid Gardens and I'm excited today to show you guys an aquaponic system that we have in a basement in Indianapolis of a homeowner's house. So we just basically have a really large fiberglass tank, I believe, it's fiberglass. And we have some koi fish down here right now that we're using as our fish. And then up here we just have our rock box and we have a black lava rock mixed with hydrogen. And uh, we have a whole bunch of different varieties of plants right now growing really well underneath a thousand watt LED, or, uh, HID light. And um, it's a metal halide right now. And uh, we're getting a lot of good production happening. We just basically have our pump down here and it's pumping all the water up and it tees off into both tubs. These tubs we purchased at Tractor Supply. Uh, they're, I think they're some sort of Rubbermaid tub or whatever, but they work really well. And uh, we just have a, a bell siphon here and a bell siphon over here inside each and we'll close up on that here for you guys in a minute. So um, yeah, the, the water just fills up and then goes all the way down and then restarts and we just have our bell siphons doing that process for us. And uh, I'd like to show you now some of the plants that we have. Butter crunch lettuce called uh, red sails, really nice. We have longevity spinach or gynura, which is unbelievable, uh, good, like high nutrition, really good for you. This is, uh, we got Okinawan spinach. Look at the purple on that, it's really good for you. We've got a big old kale. We've got a Swiss chard. We've got this back here, hidden behind this is uh, Thai basil. We've got to clip that, not Thai basil. We've got Chinese sorrel. We've got some sorrel growing in back here. Uh, then we've also got a tomato plant, already putting off some flowers. And then we've got Spilanthes here, which is uh, a medicinal herb, really fantastic, makes little buds. You can also use the leaves for tea, works out really well. We've got a little habanero pepper, Peruvian white habanero. And this is our little system here, and we've got our koi fish down here. So now I'll bring you down to the fish. So the fish are our koi fish down here. Very pretty, really nice fish. Um, they do really well and they like it in here. They're getting really big, really fast. So we'll have to keep watching them in that. And uh, we got a couple little snails cruising around right over here. We got a little snail guy right here. And um, this is doing his work. Have some really good production happening underneath this HID. 1000 watt that we're really happy with and you can see the siphon just kicked on up here it's just kicking on right here it's just kicked on so that's going to kick on for a minute and then it's going to click off here in a second when the water is drained all the way out of the pond, uh, or out of the rock box and i'll take you up and show you the bell siphons now so here's our first bell siphon Got our little bell siphon. Got a little moss growing on it. And then the roots are kind of coming out of there. We gotta get some of these roots out so we don't stop this siphon ever. Easy as that. And um, now that water is about to start overflowing. So if we didn't have this siphon, this water would not be able to go all the way to the bottom. So with this siphon, now that water's overflowing, it would just stay like that. But when we use this siphon, the water goes all the way down and with this air tube it clicks off and then it fills back up. So we'll just go ahead and put this in. And now we look and we can hear the water start to go quicker. And we can see the water start to go all the way down to the bottom of the tub. And that's our bell siphon. That's what makes this process really work really efficiently and uh, makes the aerobic bacteria produce at higher rates and be more available and for more action and more work they love so instead of aquaponics it is aquaponics but we're running a vermaponics because we've added in worms into this system that will eat up all of the smaller and larger debris and break it up and then they actually produce positive proteins and positive uh, you know just uh, minerals and they bring different things to the system just like you would have in a garden we integrate that right into here and uh, Aquaponic Liquid Gardens was very excited to build this over at this homeowner's house and um, glad to share it with you guys. I hope you 
could see it and learn something and um, just uh, keep on growing with aquaponics. Thank you guys.